What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Yeah. So, you guys laughed. You guys had fun. Yeah, in our last episode, we got our asses handed to by the more stubborn of the three legendary, whatever you might like to call it, of Unova. Yes, Terrakian whooped us, and I was angry about it. So I had to capture it. And I did. I captured it. Didn't want to nickname it or anything because it was not worthy of a nickname because, yes, I am that angry. Anywho, let us continue our adventure right here. And, uh, well, let's balance ourselves right here. Yes, we were gymnasts at some point. Not really. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and jump off this thing and grab this sucker. And look at that. We found ourselves a rare candy. Yeah, that could have come in. They could have came in handy. Oh, God, I hate Amoongus. Anywho, in our last episode, or two episodes ago, we defeated the 8th Gym Leader, and, well, that enabled whatever is going to happen right here, and that is the Team Plasma events. And, uh, well, can't wait to get to it, because, yeah, hate taking on uh, legendary Pokemon. So this guy is going to be coming out with a Steelix. This is, like, a first right here. So here we have Steelix. How's it going? And it's about to take this uh, flamethrower attack. As many of you guys can tell, yes, I am hitting it with everything I got because, well, dang. Yes. Angry. Angry AF of last episode. And, well, we're going to be taking on everybody right here. And, well, if you go right here, you can actually make a shortcut. That way, you can go back and forth. And, well... We're going to be battling a Pokemon breeder, and her name is Addison. She's coming out with a Camel Rub. That is going to be bad, so let's go with Sigh of the Torrent right here. And, well, that right there is powering him up. So let's go right ahead and use a Surf Attack, Quad Damage for the win. And there you go. Sigh of the Torrent grows to level 49. Here comes Grumpig. I do not like Grumpig, so let's go with Desert Storm right here. And, well, let's go with the Rock Slide. And that wasn't strong enough. Okay, here we go. Earth power. Using everything in our arsenal to beat this Pokemon. And it's going back to rest. Holy buckets. Okay. Let's see. You know what? Screech attack. It's asleep twice. It's using snore on me. So that's four times. And here comes another snore. So let's go with the dragon breath attack right there. And this Pokemon is wide awake. So let's go earth power. Take away everything it's got. And here comes Shy Shock. Oh, wow. Desert Storm, come on! I, I've been getting some bad luck, guys. Holy buckets. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and surf our way right here. And, well, there's nothing here except, uh, well, this pathway. And here we found ourselves a Calcium, which is always nice to get just because, you know, you kind of need it and all that stuff. It's in milk. And, well... Go ahead and balance ourselves right here. And we didn't want to do that, but oh well. And here comes a Meryl. And I don't want to battle Meryl because, well, Meryl's... Is it, was it Meryl like the biggest tease in Pokemon history where like it was supposed to be Pika Blue? Everybody had this theory of Pika Blue. And the next thing you know, it, bam, it turned out to be a Meryl out of all things. And it was a huge disappointment afterwards. Yeah, I remember. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Really, is it nothing right here? Anywho, uh, yeah, just before I before I go off on another tangent, guys, uh, yeah, yesterday was, what was it called, uh, my birthday episode. Didn't even realize it, first one of the day and all that stuff. But I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys for all the birthday wishes, whether you knew or, you know, you just found out right now here. Um, if you guys are wondering how old I am and all that stuff, it's 33, the big old 3-3. Yeah. 33, guys. I'm getting there. Not really. Just another year of reflection, like many people always, would always say. And, uh, yeah. Usually, like, like now, nowadays, like, people... Like, back then, yes, I would go party hard on my birthday and all that stuff. But nowadays, it's just spending, spending time with the people I care about the most, which is always a big plus for me. And it should be for many of you guys out there doing uh, anything you guys love and all that crud. And, uh, well, again, thank you guys all for the birthday wishes and for many more to come. Um, I don't really, I don't necessarily think there's like a, a limit. 
like an age limit to doing YouTube or, you know, pretty much doing what I'm doing right here, and that is, you know, PokeTubing and all that stuff. There is a cave. I'm not going to go there yet because we still need to battle everybody right here. But yeah, I don't think there is an age limit to the PokeTubing that I've been doing right here, guys. Um, there will be times where I just, um, I get so burnt out that I just, uh, I just decide to take a week off or I may or may not think of taking a month off, but when was the last time you guys have seen me take a month off? Well, I can probably tell you guys right now, that would be last year when I took maybe two? I took two months off, maybe three. Yeah, I took, uh, I think it was two months. And this guy's learning Retaliate. Okay, so let's see. Retaliate is the user gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, his attack damage is re increased. I am not going to do that because, well, very so often you guys see my Pokemon faint. Except for li last episode where, you know, specific Pokemon like to be a you-know-what. But anywho, um, like I was saying, guys, um... Yeah, uh, sort of lost my train of thought there. Holy crud. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I, I, I usually spend my birthdays with those who I care about, and there really isn't any, like, kind of, like, time limit to what I'm doing right here because, you know, I'm, li I'm liking it, and many of you guys have enjoyed the, the whole schedule where, like, I'm doing five episodes per week of both walkthroughs and you know I've you know it's mainly because well the reason why I do it is because I've seen some growth onto my channel and all that stuff and I want to keep it consistent for all of you yes like I said before I am late to the party in many of these games like this one right here I should have completed this game a while back but you know things happen along the way and uh, sometimes I need a break sometimes I don't sometimes I just do what I do just because I do I do it best I guess so here we are in the giant chasm and the last time we were in the giant chasm was in Pokemon black and that one was a little interesting and look at this we found ourselves a Clefairy pretty cool pretty awesome so yeah like I was saying guys sometimes I take breaks the last time I took a break was last year where I was getting that uh, I was getting my, uh, what was it called, uh, my studio ready for, for this. And what sucked was that it didn't last as, it didn't last as long as I, I thought it would. I kind of feel a little bit, uh, well, at first I felt a little, a little ashamed that I spent X amount of money for something that didn't work more than five months. And, uh, but then I, I, I real, I, I think about it and it's like, you know what? It happened for a reason. At least I tried, and I guess you could say that, you know, um, it came down to a point where it was like, okay, if I was going to do a studio, if I was going to have a studio, it would be probably in the cover of my own home, not at, not at my work, where I, like, was literally spending every single living hour in there for either you know, training people, YouTubing, and it, it kind of got a little annoying. Plus, like, being here at home, the comfort of my own home, you know, that it, it was it was very easy for me to just do YouTubing. Like, right now, like, like I, like I mentioned before, guys, I bought myself a new piece of equipment, a, a few new pieces of equipment, and, you know, it, it's all because of this right here. So... Before we go into another, you know, before I continue on with this whole thing, let's go ahead and talk about this. So here we found ourselves some Team Plasma members. He's like, how long does the wait until everybody else arrives mean exactly? The area past here is important. The people he heading to, to Route 21 are definitely important, but we have an important role as well. So it looks like to me we have to go to Route 21, which, wow. We were on a wild, duke, uh, wild duck chase and all that stuff. So I'm going to escape rope out of here and be at the entrance of Route uh, 21. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, so we're back, guys. And I'm assuming that right here, this is where you're going to be finding Route 21. So let's see. Oh, wow. There's a shore right there. And yes, we're going to be battling a whole bunch of people. And yes, it's another Pokemon trainer. Mm, 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 mm. Bikini girl. And she's coming out with a Wailord. Good God. Okay. 
Alright, Magneto, let's get it. So yeah, like I was saying, guys. Yeah, um... Felt, I felt a little bit more comfortable here. In, uh, in the comfort of my own home. If I was to have a studio, it would be at my house. And I, I'm currently living in an apartment, guys. Uh, you can't really do much. You can't really do much right here until, like, you know, you finally find that place that you can live at. Back then, when I like when I started YouTube, and it was at the I was at the house, like a house with my folks, and then it went straight to you know living with my friends, and then back to my my folks' place because, well, you know, your boy broke his ankle and all that stuff. And then, now here, in an apartment, and, you know, doing all that stuff, and then having to make a studio for yourself, you know? Making a studio for yourself, and it not working out because of the situation at hand, it, it just, it's really eye-opening, guys. So, you know, the goal is, the goal literally is to get my own home, my own house, and then from there, just, uh... You know, make a make a room just for me. You know, a studio just just so I wouldn't have to worry about like, oh yeah, you know, you have to put on some, uh, you have to put on certain things on the walls because you know you're gonna get you're gonna get in trouble or something like that. Yeah, I've gotten in trouble by the landlord so far, and it, it it's been uh, it's been it's been something right here, guys. So yeah, someday soon, and you know, I mentioned early on that you know my YouTube has been growing. It's been it's been a it's been a good thing. I I could remember when you know the pandemic started, and I came out with all these walkthroughs and all these uh, all these uh, subscribers started coming in. It wasn't until like what November 28th, my sister's birthday, out of all days, we managed to get ourselves 10,000 or yeah 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty big for me. And what a year later, we're up 3,000 subscribers, which is great. Thank you guys again for helping me. Um, and, and, and you know, it's kind of like I said, it's motivating to keep on doing these videos just because there is some revenue coming in and all that stuff. So as long as I'm getting paid now, and as long as it's like a very good number, then we're all good. And, uh, the quality will keep on going up. <laughs> I know some of you guys are like telling me they, you know, or like have been hitting me up on Instagram and when I had a Facebook and I, got, I probably need to bring that back, um. I know some of you guys have been saying, like, hey, you need to be a little more active on social media and all that stuff. Well, I will on my spare time. It's not going to be, like, constantly back when I was in college and all that stuff. But sometimes I like to keep uh, to myself, guys. I like to keep private and all that because, well, I'm not all about the social media. Even though the funny thing is that, you know, part of my job, part of my job at a school that I coach is that, I am also the media guy. I run their videos, the media, filming, and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm the total package. Literally the total package. And, well, we're taking on this guy with a crustle. And, yep, it looks like to me we're going to be going straight for a surf attack. And, yeah, that sturdy is going to hit us pretty hard, pretty good. So here we go, another surf attack for the win. And Sigh of the Torrent grows another level, which is great. Alrighty. Yeah. Social media, guys. Social media. You guys gotta love it. Uh, oh, yeah. Somebody had asked me, Draven, when are you gonna start up a, t uh, a TikTok? I'm gonna tell you this right now, guys. Uh, I'm not too big on the TikTok. I really am not. Uh, it's just not my thing, but if it means... I don't know. If it means just, like, providing some kind of platform to show more of my videos to get more people to my channel, then by all means, we could do that, but again, I'm not much of a TikTok person, and this person is getting on my nerves, so let's go with Magneto right here. Alright, Magneto, time to do it, and there's a wish attack. Let's go with a charge beam, and that nearly defeats this guy, holy crud. So this Pokemon's all about healing, and wow, it's, it's, okay, one more charge beam. There's a Hyper Potion. This Pokemon is messing with me right now. And... Wow, okay. Bolt Switch attack for the win. And there you go. I probably should have just done that. Bolt Switch would have done it. Magneto grows to level 45. And it's learning Screech attack. And uh, yeah, it's not, there's nothing physical about this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and leave that off. Keep the old moves. 
And just like that, guys. Yes, he's going to replenish our Pokemon. Thank you very much. So what is in here? I want to know. Here we are in the seaside cave. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I literally don't know where I'm where I'm at, but apparently there's something going on in Route 21. And the only place I could think of that Route 21's at is right here near the seaside cave. So let's go ahead and take a look at this whole place right here. I've said it. I've said it in the last few episodes, last few minutes. Yeah, everything I'm doing now is like the first time ever. I'm literally playing all of this for the first time ever, guys. And, you know, I, I can talk to you guys about where I dropped off on Pokemon, where I picked it up, and where I dropped off again. And it's funny, um, in high school, that's where I dropped off the first time, and that's where, that was like between like Fire Red, Emerald, going into like the Diamond and Pearl series and all that stuff. And, you know, for me, it wasn't because I thought like I, I didn't like Pokemon anymore or anything like that. It was more because, well, your boy was playing sports. And he was playing a lot of them, so yeah. That's probably the reason why. Now right here, and I have a feeling that there might be something here. Okay. Oh wow, I probably should have Oh good god. Okay, so yeah, um right here. I guess you could say that I dropped off right around the Pokemon Black and White series in playing, playing it extensively because uh, I guess my schedule my schedule picked up right there and then and you know I could say I could say this too I haven't played Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon I haven't played Pokemon um, what was the other one what was the other what are the current ones right now oh Scarlet and Violet I haven't played them yet and I'm I'm waiting on playing uh, playing uh, them until oh wow, I haven't played this guy. I'm waiting to play those games when, you know, I finally get in order or something like that. Because after this game, we're going to be playing Pokemon Y. So we're getting closer and closer to what, where we need to be. How how I got more knowledge on Pokemon X and Y than Sun and Moon, it's beyond me, guys. It's probably because like X and Y was pretty easy. Made it so easy to finish the game and all that stuff. And, well, this person's going to be giving me a berry. And let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, so... Everything that's going currently going on, guys, right now... We got him right behind this guy. He's like, hmm... My Rogarola and I have been waiting for a strong trainer like you. If you want to pass, you must beat my Rogarola and me. Can you defeat our Rock here? Yes, we can. Okay, so this guy is talking sturdy. I want to see how strong this guy is. So, here we go. Taking on Black Belt Rocky. And he has four Rogarolas. I'm guessing that all four of them have a Sturdy. And yeah, there we go. Sturdy, here's Stealth Rock. So we're not going to be switching up or anything because Stealth Rock will hurt you at the beginning. So let's go ahead and just keep Psy out here. And just again, in a total of eight turns, you're probably going to beat these Pokemon if you have the right one. So here you go, X Scissors for the win. And another Rogarola. Let's go back to the Surf. And... Look at that, another Sturdy. And that right there is an explosion attack. Holy cud. Okay, so we're going to keep it going. Going with another Surf attack right here. And another Sturdy. What are you going to do? Stone's Edge. And yeah, we're getting our butts kicked by this guy. But we win. And yes, Rog Rocky, not like the real Rocky, has been defeated. He's like, hmm, your strength is a real thing. My Rock and Roll, uh, my Rock and, Roll and I must must become even sturdier so we're off to continue our training farewell okay so now we have an entrance a shortcut to another town that we were at a while back i think it was a uh, undela town or something like that yeah okay so let's see we have to go we have to go down there and we need to get there okay so let's see this place is a puzzle I I'm, I'm starting to see this and there you go alrighty okay so we're making our way and we're gonna be battling a lot of people right here so yes his name is Drago holy crud okay so the Pokemon people were thinking Drago and yes Scrafty has a field to fail right I have a button that for that now and well Drago has been defeated 
Who names her? Oh my god. So there's a Rocky and a Drago here. Oh my god. Okay, I see. I see where these guys came from. Holy crud. Okay. So let's see. Let's grab this. We found ourselves a hard scale. I gotta talk to this guy. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Talk to this guy. Winners win because they deserve to win. I was gonna say, if he were to say, like, if he dies, he dies, I would be like, no, this, these guys literally picked out Rocky Four for this whole thing. Now, we're going through this little area right here, and I'm assuming that you're gonna be finding what you need right here, because there's three entranceways, and this is a... Okay, so the Colrus machine has woken up this crustal. Okay, so that's what it's all about. And, well, let's go surf, and just like that, Crystal is giving a... Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and capture this guy. I should I should fill up my Pokedex with whatever comes out, so let's go ahead and throw a Netball. And just like that, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So here we have Crustle, the stone home Pokemon. When its boulder is broken in battle for territory, it feels unsure and begins to weaken. Hmm. And I am not going to nickname you, but this Pokemon, yeah. So, the Colrus machine has broken. Okay, if this is if this is the only time we could ever use it, then god dang it. Alright, so we're stepping out right here in Route 21, and as you guys can see, we've seen that pirate ship before. And there is our homie, Hugh, and he's like, You found them! I know you could do it! But, how do you get in? Hold up! A heavy gangplank fell with a solid thud. And would you look at that, it's Marlin himself. He's like, hey, this should do it. I thought you weren't going to fight Team Plasma. Hey friends, Team Plasma's not bothering me. They could be up to no good for reals, and it's not my style to go around deciding Team Plasma's bad without thinking about it. Just cause everyone says so. But hey, you're having trouble, so I'm going to help out. That's what I want to do. Thanks. Listen, Kay, believe in something. Searching for stolen Pokemon is fine. Keeping Unova from being iced over is fine too. It's all good, but think about what, what you're doing or why you're doing it. That Or why you're doing that, I should say. Wow, I can't even pronounce this guy's shoots. So, he says, the strength of your beliefs is what gives you and your Pokemon power. I made some noise, so some people came out. Hey, be careful, okay? Whatever you say, homeboy. He's, he, he is pretty cool. What was that? The guy sure doesn't follow through. Well, I guess he was being kind of in his own way. All right, I'm going in. Okay, so, um, you know what? Before we finish off right here, guys, let's go back inside and check out this bottom floor right here. Can't finish off this episode without knowing what's in here. As you guys can see, there is a boulder labyrinth right around here. So, shoot. Let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and figure this out. So, let's go ahead and spread. Push this and grab this. And here we found ourselves a max repel, which is always great. And, well, we got to keep it going. And there is an individual wanting to battle us right here, right now. So let's go. Battle girl Miki wants to battle us with a Mind Fu. Mind Fu is about to get a dig attack right here. And it crashed. And thankfully, we get our dig attack right there. And, well, it's always good to have two more, more than two Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and strength these things out. And look at that. Okay, increase that. And, well, let's see. We got to push this up. And we found ourselves a ghost gem. Sometimes you might find an interesting Pokemon right there. And that will leave us room for this part right here. So they made it easy for us right here. Okay. So now we got to push this once. And there we go. Grab this. Found ourselves a rare candy. And push this one last time right here and there you go we're leading into the what i would be assuming is the final area right here and sai's been getting a little bit of a uh, damage right here so let's go straight for desert storm and see what desert storm is all about 
Okay, so taking on Rich. Coming out with Gurger. And, well, let's go with the Rock Slide. Not so effective. He has flinched. Screech attack. And here comes a Hammer Arm. That right there messes with us. Holy crud. And Dynamic Punch doesn't work. So here we go again. And, wow, Desert Storm, man. Either way you look at it, a Desert Storm is going to get his butt kicked. So it's not doing well right here in Junova. Probably thinking of like maybe switching it up because god dang. So here comes a hammer arm. That affects that Pokemon. So let's go flamethrower. There you go. Girder defeated. And yes, you are retreating to, to win and all that. So let's see what we got right here. And this will lead us straight to this portion. Finding the TM06, which is toxic. A very, very good move. And if you go right here, you're going to start all over again. So, we're going to go back. Wow. Okay. And let's go Let's go ahead and find our destiny right here. Speeding it through. And just like that, guys, we have completed the sea cave, amongst other things. In the next episode, guys, we're going to be going into the Team Plasma ship, and we're going to be finding out what the heck is going on, because good God... It is a mess. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I appreciate every single one of you guys, especially with the birthday wishes and all that stuff. Thank you guys. I will see you guys in another episode as we take on Team Plasma. See you guys.